Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. My name is Jill Moore and I am the lead vocals with Harper's Chord. I do a little uh, percussion, but it's very light percussion. My name is Roger and I play rhythm guitar for Harper's Chord and they uh, let me play banjo once in a while. My name is Evan Hocus, fiddle player with Harper's Chord. I play mandolin as well and occasionally the banjo. My name is Micah Barrett with Harper's Chord. I play bass, mandolin, and vocals. Harper's Chord started with sort of an idea that was mine. I was a singer and I just wanted to record a CD. It was kind of a lifelong dream. And I recruited two guitar players, one of them being Roger Fink. And we started playing together and we were working toward recording this CD. And in the process realized 
We actually liked to play together more than we liked to be apart. So one day I said, you know, this isn't just my project. This is a group thing. And we started Harper's Chord. And at the time it was a musician named Paul Drinkwine. And we were together a couple of years. And then we sort of grew and expanded from there. And then a couple of years ago now, Paul decided that he wanted to be done. And so we went through a transition and along the way we got lucky enough to find two musicians that really fit for what we did and we're very much a family and it's been pretty darn fun. Ten miles north of Black Hall County, I watched a heavy snow begin. Above the rails and the cross ties, a cold reality set in. Up ahead, they Minnesota, six days out on the Great Northern Line. All I own is in this rail car, my darling Edith stayed behind. I stepped off the train in Staples, homestead contract in my hand. I took it down to the survey office, they set the corners of my land. Well, Edith made it up to Cass County, all alone in Great Witch I found her on the streets of Staples, outside of the mercantile. Five long years we spent just chopping down the pines. Bust inside and picking rocks behind the plow. Once that contract's through, we'll find a way to go. Back to Iowa somehow. Spring comes late up in the Northland. April brought a baby's cry. Well, the good Lord giveth and he taketh away. Who are we to question why? Must have been the great pine forest. Nightfall takes you by surprise. Well, the moonlight peaks and through the shadows, sun is hidden in the sky. Five long years we spent just chopping down the pines. Bust inside and picking rocks behind the plow. Once that contract's through, we'll find a way to go. Mm -hmm. Back to Iowa somehow. Took on work in North Dakota, 12 days out and 12 days back. No, you can't grow corn in Minnesota. I miss that good earth, rich and black. Well, we made it through the springs and summers, gnats and ticks and mosquitoes. How we ever made it through the winters, only God will ever know. Five long years we spent just chopping down the pines Busting inside and picking rocks behind the plow Once that contract through, we'll find a way to go Back to Iowa somehow Thank you.
What we've been doing for songwriting lately has been more of a collaborative effort. Someone will come to the uh, band with a song idea, has the basic structure for it, some lyrics, but then we bring in uh, the talents of the other band members to help fine tune it or change it up a bit or modify the lyrics and really start to make it more of a song than it was originally. And it's been really great that way with a collaborative effort.
I would say, I mean, I've only been playing with this band for, I mean, I guess less than a year um, since you guys found me on the street somewhere. Right about but a year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah about a year. Um, yeah, definitely. So the experience here is it's, it's incredible. These guys, you know, everything's so tight, in order. We have our beats, everything structured. It's understood what we, the expectations, what we want from each other in this band. And it's professional, and I appreciate that. In other bands that I've played with, it's kind of just been very loose goose and just you know, hey, show up at the gig and let's hope for the best. And uh, that can get stressful playing, but this is just smooth and functional. And at the end of the day, like when you can walk away from a gig knowing that you nailed your parts, things were good. And then you can all just maybe sit down to a glass of wine and enjoy each other's company and just be friends. That's something I haven't experienced in this in a band before. And so uh, that's, that's kind of my end. I, I experienced that, so it's cool. I think one of the, probably the most um, sort of interesting things about the dynamic that we have in the band and maybe one of the most uh, challenging aspects as well is the different musical backgrounds that we all come from. For myself, I come from a very formal music background. I've heard some of the stuff that, you know, Evan came from and that's, I don't even know how to define it, you know, and Joe's got this dance vocal background, you know, and, and Roger, you know, just being from a slightly different generation of being mine. from Iowa. Just is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, you just, you know, we all grew up with sort of different styles of music. I mean, we, we've got probably, you know, the widest age gap in the group is probably 35 years or something like that. So, you know, we've grown up with different styles and different backgrounds. And it's fun because it brings a lot of different aspects and ideas to the table. It's also very challenging because we all have different ideas about how things get done and how songs get written. And uh, there's a lot of give and take and I know I take a lot more than I give, <laughs> but I think that's probably one of the, one of the better uh, uh, sort of aspects and more uh, fun things about being with the group. There's a new star shining in heaven tonight. It's a glorious sight It's not hard to find it So sparkling, so bright There's a new star shining In heaven tonight There's a new Bye. 
It's a glorious sight. It's not hard to find it, so sparkling, so bright. There's a new star shining in heaven I came from Iowa about, when well, it must have been 20 years ago, and I'm not quite sure you know, how to describe the, the music scene in Minnesota except to say that I'm just totally impressed with the wealth of talent that is out there, both in the Twin Cities and statewide. A lot of it's very regional in nature. Indeed, Harper's Chord is more or less regional in nature. But all of those great metro regions, whether it's Winona or Bemidji or Duluth, they have this collection of great talent, individuals, groups, you name it, that are really you know, being supported by the community. I think social media has had a lot to do with that. And um, it's been incredible. I walk this field alone where my body used to lay. My name is carved in stone. Feels like yesterday. Gone are the cries of pain. clay washed by redeeming rain
Imagine home. Take me home. I've walked. That's shallow. Don't you recognize my face? Take me when you go up to that yonder place. Oh, and Johnny, we're marching home. Take me home Ooh, When Johnny went marching home Take me I walk this field along where my body used to lay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.